into your back, throwing your head back. You're lengthening out of the tips of your ears. Squeeze those thighs together for four, three, two, and one. Hold it up. Here you go. Hold it. Hold it. Now take those hands and reach them back. Lift up your legs. Lift up your arms. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Length, 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 length. And exhale. Tap down. Four. Try to keep your legs still. Don't let it move. For three. These guys should be working hard. For two. And one. And come on back into a child's pose. Whoo. What else did I want to hit? Oh. Actually, rowing is one of my favorites too. And we don't do that very often. But we should see if we can do a little bit more of it. It's going to throw all of these principles in together. It's going to use your C curve. It's going to use your Pilates scoop. It's going to use your flat back. It's going to use your midline. And it's also going to keep your shoulders out of your ears. Okay? So just to kind of start off with the rowing, think about if you had two wrist watches and you were checking your time, right? Now, right here, I'm kind of falling. I can feel myself. I'll hit that later, but now's not the time. I'm sitting up tall and I'm pulling these wrist, wrist watches right into my chest. Okay? So from the front, it would look like this. Sit up tall. Okay? So lift out of the top of your head. Point your toes. Lengthen your legs. Inhale, hinge back. Get that idea first. Exhale, pop up with a flat back. So you're bored. This whole upper body moves in a plank. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Your legs are going to want to roll open. You're going to have so much more control. Keep them engaged. Point your toes. Exhale up. Add the arms. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Up and around. Open. Lift, lift, lift. Lift. Exhale into that Pilates scoop. Inhale up big and slide. Now you can add, drag those fingers open. Exhale, up and around. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, and up and around. And last one. Inhale back, open. Exhale, and up and around, and fall forward. Okay, and then coming right into this um, front center here. So you're taking these elbows. And that's kind of misleading because it looks like my hands are up higher than my elbows, but I don't want them to be. So I want my elbows right in line. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to hit that cam camera angle for you. There, that might be my best bet. Elbows pop, shoulders drop. So this is no, this is no, this is yes. Long, so you're never sinking, right? We've got our powerhouse, we're wearing that Brett Favre uh, band, and we're thinking about that powerhouse, those, that band of muscles. You're trying to keep that corset-like effect, that tiny waist, exhale through, inhale to open, rib cage goes out. Exhale, close it up. Here you go. Exhale to close it up. Inhale, expansive. Exhale. Now, when you take those thumbs and those pointer fingers together, reach around. Right? So you're making a big hug circle. You're reaching around a great big ball, a great big tree. Great big broad shoulders, right? Take those elbows. Open for four. Top shoulder should start burning for three. For two. And one. Okay, now you're taking those elbows and you're drawing tiny tennis balls. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it on down. Right into the diamond, one of my favorites. 
sit up tall. Remember that length. You're always thinking of that length, right? You're not collapsing. You're thinking of this length. Lean forward, make a triangle, thumb and fingers, shave the head and extend. All the while, lengthen through here. Try not to sink. Think of reaching out, slide down. Eight, seven, keep your thumb and your fingers together. Drag them down the back of the head to the nape of the neck. Neck, elbow shoot wide for five, four, three, two, and one, and come on down. Okay, and then the last thing that I wanna show you, this will get you um, super engaged in your Pilates scoop, and it will also teach you how to use your exhale to control your body, okay? So rolling like a ball, you're gonna come up to the tip of those toes. Okay, so if you've got a flat back here, we're just gonna plunk down, right? We need to find that Pilates scoop, so you're gonna engage that belly button, and you're gonna create that C curve. Drop your chin into your chest, walk up onto your tippy toes, inhale, roll back, exhale, and you wanna come up and you wanna try to find your balance. Okay, so it always takes three, four, sometimes I never find it, sometimes I can do it right off the bat, okay? Here you go, don't get frustrated with yourself. I rolled off to the side, I rolled off my mat, I, like, I would roll off this deck if I, if I haven't been doing this for so long. Okay, here you go. Inhale, exhale. It's tougher than you think, huh? Here you go. Inhale, exhale. Ooh. And exhale. Two. And what I love about it is that sometimes I end up like this. Sometimes I'm like, how did I get over here? So it really makes you realize how much you have to use your core to control this body. Exhale, right? And two, and one. And since we tried that, we're gonna just give us a taste of the teaser, okay? It's our goal, it's what we work towards, and this is a great time, a great way to get started. Okay, we're building up our confidence, we're gonna move into this. Lift up through your chest, feet flat on the floor, hands right behind. Now think of pulling your shoulders, or pulling your chest through your shoulder gates. Get a drishki, get a something right ahead, not a cocked chin, right down, straight in line. Inner thighs are engaged, right? That midline. This will um, loosen your power. This will intensify your power. Extended toe, extended toe. Find your tailbone so you're not rolling from butt cheek to butt cheek. Lift up your arms. Lift out of your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. Now hover a toe. Give it a shot, even if you don't think you can. Lower your leg a little bit, keep it up high. Try to find your balance, just give it a shot. Extend both toes if you can. Five, four, three, two, one, and come on in, rolling like a ball. Awesome job, everybody. Okay, so that's a basic intro class. There's all kinds of add-ons. There's all kinds of things that we can do, but those would be some really good places to start if you wanna start getting involved in Pilates. Um, I love it because it just increases, um, I'm really short, it, it increases your length, and I haven't ever had back problems, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So, um, Fire up your core to strengthen your back, all right? Love you.